Welcome everyone, I am C.S. Gilmore, and this is Darkest Dungeon. So after that less than successful adventure with the crow, I am not going to poke that beast again for the time being until I can get some people actually equipped really for it. In the meantime though, I am going to go and I'm going to go on this Gather Three Ancestors Relics quest. Alter relics via marine shipments, find and return them to town where they can be stored safely out of the hands of greater evils. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm gonna go on that quest and see what I can dig up. Um, biggest problem I have is... Oh, that's way more than I need. Um, but biggest problem I have really with the setup right now, after that big loss, uh, something I didn't really consider as well as I should have, is the fact that those trinkets that those characters that died had on them are currently lost. Now, if I defeat the crow, I get eight trinkets back, which I think are those eight, eight lost trinkets, but that still requires defeating the crow. And, uh, yeah, that's not going to happen right away. So, for now, I'm just working on some building up of my characters, and they... This is a new mission. It's a little different. It's got, um, yeah, Ancestor's Relics instead of this, uh, the usual stuff. I'm wondering how that's going to play out. And it's got a event afterwards called Lost and Found, which I'm hoping means I'll get at least one of my we relics back. these lost shipments of rarities, that we may prevent them from falling into even okay. less scrupulous hands. Um, hmm, which way to go first? I'll go right. Curio is not quest related. That thing in the hall could be. At least it's not likely to be quest related. I don't know. Either way, I'm gonna go right for now and then see from there how that plays out. Oh, that played out well. Got some nice treasure. Ooh, that's worth a lot. More than I remember it being. I think they definitely did a. <coughs> Sorry, I think they definitely did a recalibration of the values of various items. Because some of the stuff I'm getting is definitely worth different amounts than it used to be when I played a while back, or even I you know that long ago. Well, might as well hit the heavy hitter. And uh, luckily I've still got a lot of characters with some pretty good items. Like, I didn't lose- I did lose some good trinkets, as I recall. I did lose some pretty good trinkets. But I didn't lose all of my good trinkets. And I didn't lose all of my good characters. And I've got some definite characters that could end up replacing my lost characters with a bit of time. The problem is I have to get them there. Yeah, you fix these guys up. Thankfully, I picked up this replacement man at arms, so I've but still got a good enemy a guy who can provide some decent boosts to a lot of my characters. These things are going to be annoying with their stun ability, it seems, until I kill them. Which is going to take a little bit, especially if they keep stunning people or not getting them out of their place with surprise. <sighs> well, that's how it goes. Another one, Another one down. One more to go. You get back up front. Ah, that was a bad move on my part, really. Oh well, too late now. Now, let's get you guys sorted out into a non-useless pattern. Um, you go here, and, let's see. 
Yeah, okay, I'll just stick with that. More treasure. I am getting a lot of gold, but that's Before good, because after some of the be spent. last adventures, I kind of fried my gold pool pretty good. And with my need to get a lot of characters upgraded now, I'm going to be spending a ton of gold in the next several places, like the next several weeks of the game, because, yeah, reasons and necessary upgrades. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, with all these starter characters, that's going to be difficult still, just because they're going to have a long way to go. with leveling dungeons out. I don't know if, like, after a while it'll stop giving me low-level low dungeons for the low-level characters, or whether it will continue to do so. It just kind of gives me a mix. I really don't know how this game's balance system works in the way of the dungeons. I'm also curious, is, I kind of want to try the crow again sometime soon, just because I'm curious now that I don't have, I shouldn't have all those stupid, um, all the stupid uh, achievements getting in the way. I'm really hopeful that I need to give this guy Hugh. But I'm really hopeful that now that I don't have all those achievements getting in the way, if I can just survive the four turns, I'd still win. I just don't know if that's how it's gonna play out. Or not. And I kind of want to throw away or risk throwing away another high-level party right away. So I'm gonna hold off and just hope that things play out well for me to replace the characters I did lose and get some other characters ready to tussle with the crow on more equal terms. It does help that now I do know what I'm going up against at least. And yeah, it's not pretty, but I know what I'm going up against. Alrighty. Uh, put that there. Okay, clam, shovel. Okay, it's an oyster, not a clam. There's a difference, I know. Um, yeah, I'll switch that out. I really shouldn't have brought that. Uh, let's check up here for what I need. This one is proving difficult for finding necessary items, it seems. I mean, usually, but it was with one of these quests. Cophobia, quirk removed. Oh, I didn't realize he had cophobia. So I guess it's a good thing I got that removed because now he'll actually be a little more effective here. You know, I can't remember what the phobia causes exactly. I think it was mostly just stress increase over the normal. That's new. That looks really cool. I really want to see what that does. Oh, I. In radiance, may I didn't know I could use victory. torches in battle. Have I been missing that the entire time? Really? Um... Wow. That was a stupid on my part. I don't remember being able to do that before though, it's a thing, so it's like... Did I really just miss that? Or was that not a thing before? Either way, I'm happily going to use that to... Sure, it'll lower my treasure, but it should hopefully make it so these guys don't do quite as much damage either. Like, less criticals, that's what I think. And... Hmm. Please don't blow up, Mr. Corpse. I really just want to kill you really quickly before you try any explosive problems on me. Okay, I think it... Yeah, it, it's dead unless something interferes with, like, that guy healing it again. So it's dead on its turn. You hit the stupid squid thing. Slowly, gently. Or octopus. This is how a life is taken. The, thing is. the yeah, it's just weird. Anyway, that's turning out well. I want to know what's in that chest. It looks like an heirloom thing, very likely. But at the same time, hey, heirlooms, cool and a cool new object. 
I have not encountered previously. Is the weapon that cuts on its own. I, yeah, not even in all my other games. So. Destroyed. There we go. Got rid of his support. Now it's just a matter of. Of course, that doesn't can't hit him. That is a disadvantage of that character. He doesn't have a good attack for that position. For when there aren't a lot more enemies. Oh well. Got a bunch of those weird pulsating sacks on his face, which is kind of gross. Of course, also, I was think, uh, just thinking about it, this, the thought just occurred to me. Like, so the fish people are formed by, uh, seem to be formed through kind of like a viral bite. So, is that the same with all these fish people? How does it, how do their mutations vary? Like, what causes that? Is it due to some of them just having different bites, or is there like some, has to do with who they bite? Or something else entirely. It's just something for my mind to ponder over that I find a interesting. Trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. All right. Well, I'll just leave that there. I want to know what this is. Ancestor's relic. Oh, that's what this is. Terrible relic for a forgotten corner of the world. Well, let's poke that. Some things are better left unopened. Ah, but I want to open it. I have to put something. Get rid of something too. Hmm. Ah. Uh, I don't want to get rid of. All right, I'll get rid of the gold. For now, I want to hold on to my other things for purposes of maintaining my characters. Okay. Well, one of these things could be what I'm looking for. I don't know how they show up on the map. So, I guess I'll continue down this way at least till that point. Nope, can't take it. Not worth dropping something for that. <laughs> then I can come back and I'll camp before I go into that next room battle, I think. Oh, that's something different. What is this? Bass relief, or base relief. A puzzlingly ancient sculpture of dizzying implication. Okay, I ran into one of these in my other game that is like not the one I'm using to follow with my recordings. Um, well, I was just passing some time while another episode encoded. And I used a shovel on it and it broke it and it was not good. So I'm just gonna try poking it and see what happens. That's the impact on the hero. Maybe nothing good ever comes of these things. I don't know. Winded. Point half. Replace egomania. Okay. Eh, could be better, could be worse. I'm just going to back up here and leave. Come on, let me go through the door. There we go. Uh, that was a little funky there. Maybe it was just me, but that seems like a little trippy with its moving from one space to another. I have to pay attention and see if it does that. Every time I just didn't notice. Whoop, through the door. No, that was much more normal. So, that was just a weird transition there. I hope the it, recording captured it. Or is it's, you're all going to be like, What are you talking about, dude? You're looking at nothing. Anyhow. Alright, I'm back here. Camp. I'll clear up the aisle, my inventory and prep my characters we'll for some more in adventure. Firelight and uneasy companionship. First things first. Party. Okay, that's one person. Party, dodge up, everyone, sweet. You clean your guns and do this because they'll give me prevents nighttime ambush and gives me a bunch of better chance of surprising. So burn through my stuff real quick, my points, but hey. At least you don't have to stare at me camping the for a while. Of safety. And I don't have to worry about it being super long and maybe considering editing out. Um, 
let's see what else lies ahead. I really want, do these show up as, do these relics that I'm looking for show up as curios on the map or something else? What do you have that costs that? A handsome reward. You're for not a task my new well guys. Performed. Curious, okay. At least it wasn't like kleptomania. Oh, how I hate kleptomania. The there. match is struck. A blazing star is born. Hey guys. Hello, sea maggot, snail thing. Oh, you're so cute. Ugly cuteness. So ugly, you're cute. Um. Okay, these don't always come with room battles. Also good to know. Oh, I have to find a place for this thing, of course. Uh, la, 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 la. I'm not using bandages. It seems all that much. So on we go. Well, let's go up. Since this has a treasure, that's of uh, some value to me. Quite possibly. Finding the stuff is only the first oh, test. Oh, more stuff I want. Now it must be carried but home. Must make sacrifices in order to take. Um. Portrait. That can go be left behind. I do like having all these journal entries. More to my collection. And I've got to list off the ones I've already read. I've really got to remember to do that. Note to self. Mark the journal entries I've already read, so I don't have to keep searching through them going, Nope, this one looks unfamiliar. There it is. So I can just go, Oh, there's the one I haven't read yet. I don't know if it would be any faster, really, considering the number I have now, it's good. it would take a while even with lists to go, Nope, nope, yes, no. Comparison. Whatnot. Alrighty. Oh, a madman. I haven't actually run into one of you for a little while now. Yeah. Odd, actually, now I think about it, because for a while I was running into madmen all the time. Now it's like, oh, there's one. Maybe they. I wonder if feeding certain bosses affects which enemies show up more. Probably not. That's probably just me reading too much into it. That would be interesting, though, like, you know, kill the Snorris Prophet and suddenly less madmen. Masterfully executed. Alrighty. I should really also look over the list of bosses remaining um, back in the Hamlet. Because there's that huge list of like bosses and goals of who to defeat. And it would be interesting to see what is left on the caretaker's list of things that need to be killed. Because I think I've made a pretty good dent in them. All in all, considering even though yeah, there's been low. setbacks due to the problems. Starting to level some people up to where they can get better equipment. 
do 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 This loading screen is so slow. A finely crafted instrument of butchery and bloodshed. Yours for the taking. In the end, the hours of rooting through the old barrels and forgotten weapon racks bore fruit. Free upgrade, weapon times one. So I get one free weapon upgrade. I like that one. Guess who needs a free weapon upgrade of an expensive sort? Yay! Alright. Well, I'll play with getting the rest of the weapons upgrade and stuff, but first... I'll do that off camera. In time, For now, let's you find those will know the tragic extent of my failings. Okay. Oh, I think we got... No, no. Where is it? I think one of these is new. Maybe both of these. Yeah, I think it's both these Blackest Fates ones. There's two new ones here, I think. I think this is one. Our purpose was to desecrate their animalistic shrines and thus disperse the swine folk. But soon we came across an artifact. This was far beyond the crude fetishes crafted by the pigmen. It looked as if obsidian had been grown and twisted into a dark symbol of worship. It cradled a pulsing red orb, glowing with malevolent light. Cuthbert, Bullion, and I hesitated, but thrice damned Miser, driven by crazed impulse, thrust his torch in a hidden receptacle and thus sealed our fate. Oh, yes. In that same instant, we found ourselves in a place of suffocating dark, facing a creature that defies description, whose recollection causes my quill to jump and shudder. It is merciful, only fragments of our battle remain in my psyche. I see Cuthbert hacking at the quivering appendages of the monster. I recall how a piece of its flesh slowed off, and of its own twisted accord sprang onto Bolian, piercing her stout plate. The occultist, as if to offer himself as tribute, was torn apart by its writhing limbs. Then we had the old ones. Um, so, yep. Uh, the only thing I can recall after falling swiftly into blackness. And it bears the suit of the estate's ancestral owner. Very curious. Wait, did I miss this one before? I now find myself back in the warehouse among the remains of my companions. My wounds are too severe to allow the completion of our task. Thus, the desecration must resume another time. Curious, there is a ring in my pocket. Where it came from, I cannot begin to guess, though it bears the sigil of the estate's ancestral owner. Very curious. The only thing I can recall after all is... Okay. So, yes, yeah, basically them, they fought one of the... They they poked the, the uh, altar with a torch, got warped, fought the, the weird abyssal being, I can't remember what it was called, and got an ancestral artifact as a result, which you do for those. So that's really handy because not only was that a fun story, which I'm still missing a piece of, but it also kind of plants a hint if you haven't found one already of, hey, you get some good artifacts if you beat those. So that's awesome. Anyway, I'm going to end this here. I'll probably have to do some editing. I have to cut out some of those battles or something. I don't know. I have to think about it. Go back over them. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, hit like, hit subscribe, and come back for more videos. Bye!